Many organisms under the ocean build protection using calcium carbonate, including fish, clams, oysters, and coral. These organisms are at risk because of the rising levels of acidity in the ocean. They are prone to disintegration from acids, and this is an issue we have to worry about with ocean acidification. Ocean acidification is the ocean's acidity increasing, or its pH decreasing. This happens because of the way carbon dioxide reacts with water. When carbon dioxide reacts with water, it makes carbonic acid, which increases the acidity of the water. Calcium carbonate reacts with the carbonic acid in a way that disintegrates shells. The carbonic acid also breaks into hydrogen ions and bicarbonate ions. The extra hydrogen ions bond with carbonate ions in the water, making more bicarbonate ions, meaning the animals in the water have less carbonate to make calcium carbonate, meaning it will take longer to make their shells. This is a natural process, but it is an issue now because of the billions of tons of CO2 that are being released into the air every year. This is an issue because this will kill the animals in the ocean, as they will not be able to have the proper amount of protection from the environment. Not only will this affect life in the ocean, but also on land, as some land animals depend on food from the ocean. And more inland, the rivers will be carrying the same chemicals and acidity from the ocean, meaning it will affect animals further away from the ocean as well. As for humans, we also depend on the ocean for food and jobs. If fish or clams started dying, fishermen would lose work, fish would become more expensive, and hatcheries that need ocean or sea water would produce less because of the acidity affecting their production. This is a huge environmental problem, but only 20% of the population know about ocean acidification, compared to the 99% of people who know about climate change. Please share this issue to people that you know by sharing this video or another one, discussing it online or in person, or mentioning the subject and talking about it with your friends. So we have talked about ocean acidification, how it is caused, and what it does, but how can we help decrease the impact? The best way to decrease the amount of CO2 is to decrease the amount of energy used. Coal is one of the most common ways that power is produced. Every pound of coal burned for energy makes 2.07 pounds of carbon dioxide. It makes about 1 kilowatt of power. The average house uses 886 kilowatts of power per month, meaning that for the 886 pounds of coal used, produces 1,834.02 pounds of carbon dioxide. To decrease the amount of energy used, one way is to be more efficient with the dishwasher. Each dishwasher load takes 2 kilowatts of energy, which would produce 4.14 pounds of carbon dioxide. If the loads per week were to decrease from 3 times a week, or 156 times a year, to 2 times a week, or 104 times a year, it would prevent 215.28 pounds of carbon dioxide every year, as well as save hundreds of pounds of water. Another way to decrease the amount of carbon dioxide you produce outside of the house is carpooling. Driving a car on average produces 7.75 pounds of carbon dioxide per 10 miles driven. If you drive one other person to a place 20 miles away, you'll save 15.5 pounds of carbon. If you carpool once a week, you can prevent 806 pounds of carbon dioxide every year and save money on gasoline. These numbers may seem small compared to the trillions of pounds of carbon dioxide produced every year, but that is only with one person. If 10, 1,000, 1 million, or 10 million people were to take action and reduce their carbon footprint, it would make a much bigger impact. To learn more about the amount of carbon dioxide you produce and how to reduce it, visit footprintcalculator.org. This will show every impact you can make. To learn more about ocean acidification, visit the NOAA website or look up ocean acidification on Google. Thank you for watching and remember to be aware of what you are using and how you're using it.